Who, who's ready for pure hell? Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Superstar. I'm at Rule 64. Uh, that icon is of the arena on the on the save file. That's because I was trying to use the AVI for this, but for some reason AVI is, says that it says 9x AVI is laggy as shit. For some reason, even though Hypercan should theoretically like so stand more, so I don't get that. I really don't get it. That and I was getting incredibly unlucky because I kept losing my ability in one bloody hit because the game hates me that much. No, actually, scratch that. It's the LP curse. It's coming in droves. But anyway, this is the arena. This is pretty much the boss rush, boss rush, of Kirby Superstar. The arena, if you thought this game was easy already, no, if you thought this game was pretty much easy throughout the entire thing, you'll be completely wrong here. The arena is actually pretty hard. Harder than it looks. Trust me. And in the... the Da, da, da. And in the remake, it got even worse. You have to fight all the bosses. And some mini bosses. First, we got Computer Virus. This is actually the Mil Milky Way Wishes version. I believe in the remake, all the bosses here use Milky Way Wishes palette. Use the Milky Way Wishes versions. But only the enemies that appeared in Milky Milky Way Wishes. You'll face. In fact, all the bosses here are from all the games, not just Milky Way Wishes. And we will even face some from Meta Knight, some from Dino Blade, and even DDD again, who actually has a brand new death animation, just because you can't blow him out of the w blow blast him out of his castle. So, so, so far, so good. To be fair, I don't really... I'm hoping that I won't get uh, Nova's inside, like, Nova's call too early or too late. No, actually, you're probably better to have it early. And by the way, we had to pick our ability at the start. Uh, we won't get the luxury of that room from now here on out. But there will be two av available to you. This is the rest room. As you can see, there's a there's a next telling you who's your bot next boss and how many games left. You fight fight play like nineteen fights. You have two abilities here. These are random. You have five maximum tomatoes up there. Use them wisely. And I mean that. Use them wisely. Because they will never respawn. Although in the remake they change that a little bit. So that they'll just turn into simple tomatoes. After you use them once. After that they'll disappear, disappear for good. So they made this a little easier in the remake. In Superstar Ultra. Although they still got the true arena. Which is even more difficult. And... All of them tomatoes start the normal tomatoes. Oh, we got him early. Right. That's fine by me. Because, as you remember, I'm forced to take a hit during this fight. I'm not sure if there's any way to get past that one cannon thing. I'm not sure what the hell is supposed to be. I know in the remake you can. That one. I know in the remake you can dodge that one, actually. In the remake. Thank God for that. And there's another impossible one, I think, here. 
But they, like, like I said, they changed that in the remake, thankfully, so that you can actually dodge them. This is the other impossible one. And we have wispy words. He's a he's easy. I'm not worried. Like I said, this does get ridiculously hard. Although I think I'm ow. I was nose can hit you, hurt you. Okay, I actually never knew that. Duly noted, I suppose. And that would have been a no-hit run if it weren't for me bloody getting hit by his nose. I seriously do not know that can cause damage. This one's pretty easy. Just like, load. Just don't stay in the... in front of the reactor crystal when it starts spazzing out after getting shot. It's like it's throwing a tantrum. Wow, I read you shirt me. <laughs> yeah, I was so bad. Seriously, this boss is easy. I don't think that's going to hit. No. If it's too low like, too low like that, it will not hit. Even though it looks like it theoretically should. It doesn't. I definitely mentioned that during the actual fight with him. Or it. Uh, I think I'll be fine against you. Although I might want to heal after this fight. Might. Yeah, I'm using yo-yo. You can use any ability you want. But I want to use yo-yo. My best advice is to pick the ability that you're good with or you like using if you unless you're really skilled at this game or it's really skilled at using jet or suplex don't use them like seriously don't I've seen some really good playthroughs of people using those abilities and you can perform a really weird glitch if you use it on uh, the last one, which I won't spoil right now because he's always the last one. Though some might probably know who he is already. Not an mist. I want to forgot to mention that Lolo, 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 and La 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 are actually from another HAL game called Lolo's Adventure. They became Kirby characters for some strange reason and had an extra Lo and La at the end of their names. I think I'll be fine here, as too. I'm, I'm a bit worried that I'm going to get a little, I'm, that I'm getting a little cocky. That was a little too close. That's what I'm really worried about. This is the four enemy one. There are, there's two mini boss rushes in this. There's this one which has four of them, I think, or is it? Have three. I think it's the 4 one. This one has Bonkers as you saw, Chef Kawasaki, Bugsy. I'm doing a very good job hitting him. Oh, you can do an air dash. I completely forgot you can do that. Oh, this is just a... Unless you want this one, I'm pretty sure one of them has 4 of them in there. Uh, I think I'll have a heal, because I'm... That uh, may have been a really bad move on my part. But we shall see. Oh, you're firing the cannon already. Okay. Cool beans, bro. And so screw you. Oh. That was it. Idiotic. No! No! Oh god. No! 
Can it a little too close here? Oh. Yeah, I'm cutting it a little too close get here. I'm glad I picked up that tomorrow. And now you can't use your super powerful cannon against me. But I still have to fear the hand of the hand. Maradona's hand of God. As I like to call it. Even though that's not even though it's not really used in that context. I mean he didn't he just used it to get a cheap goal in England, but he didn't use it to like slam a blob into the floor. And we have the second, I think this is the one that has the four, four enemies in it. This one has Todd Gross Jr. Uh, I forgot his name, Mr. Flossy I think it is. I didn't know these enemies names until I, well, some of them I knew before. But this one I, until the remake or uh, Amazing Mirror. Because some of these busy enemies did appear in Amazing Mirror. I am I am Mom or I am Ma'am. I don't know which one is which. And we have this guy. I don't know his his name. We'll just call him. Uh, what can we call him? E Honda. There we go. No, that's uh, Sumaresta. Uh, Ryu. There we go. He uses a he has a G, and he comes from Japan. And he fires a do cunt. I know he's dead. And did he have underwear on? I definitely have ever noticed that before. That was really weird. I took a lot more health than I really sh a lot more damage than I really should have. Do I dare? Do I dare? Go. We'll hear on the next one. Fatty Whale. The problem with Fatty Red Whale is that he's really unpredictable. In fact, he was my first in the scrap recording. He was actually my first opponent. And somehow I got really unlucky with him. Mostly because I took a hit that I really should not have been able to... That should not have hit me. That, and he hit me once, and I lost my ability. Then a help... Then a... The next battle, I took a hit and lost my ability. I just gave up, because I was like, oh my god, why? Just why are you doing this to me, Kirby Superstar? Oh, oh yeah, oh baby. I've actually, I did actually did not know that you can actually hit him during that. I just thought, well, let's try it. Wouldn't be better if I killed him during a guard, but oh well. Seriously, I did not know you can hit him when doing that. When you're doing that. Ugh. I'm probably going to grab it, but I'll focus on you first. Oh, you went down quickly, quickly. And then again, I seem to be getting like double hits on you. Yeah, I am. Oh God, he has a really weird. This left one has a really odd hitbox. Because I just pushed into his mouth and I got hit by nothing. Oh god, here comes the toughest boss in the game. The toughest boss. Oh god. Oh god, he's here. Die. Die, you fiend. Get away from me. Oh god, I can't believe I managed to get through that with... Without getting hurt. Oh boy. Yeah. Why do they have a lone wall doing there? I really, well, do I mean, I really don't know, but they do. Fun fact is that if you go into that battle with as normal Kirby, you can actually inhale him and kill him in one hit. That's actually pretty cool. He actually has a bandana in the remake, and I got the probably the best ability for Wham Bam Rock. So I'm not bothered about this fight. I haven't got Met Knight yet. Because Met Knight has a little secret. And I'd like to show it off. Because I, have, I haven't got a timer breathing down my neck. Even though fighting with Yo-Yo would probably be like trying to fight a... Trying to beat off a... I don't know. A giant with a 
head. Just not a good idea. So, probably the oddest analogy I can give. No, bear is trying to, try to fight Bowser off with a stick. And a Deku shield. It's just not a good idea. So, yeah. No. He, he's coming pretty close then. I'm quite surprised I got him pretty late though. As. Oh. As he is still pretty hard. And now I can actually keep your, my distance on you. Oh, yeah, I definitely want to be showing that move off. No, Kirby, stop. Ah. Ah, if I could grab one of those stars and smack, because it caused him a lot of damage. And yeah, he has an alternate death animation for this. Oh god, Met Knight. I'm grabbing this. I oh, do not care if it's a bad idea. I'm grabbing this. Because he is going to lay down the hurt. Also, he has his own theme for this fight, for some reason. I think in the remake they changed that. You know what? I don't want your sword. I refuse to have your sword. Sword your sword, sir. I am a rebel, and I refuse to get it. I don't care if you're ch chasing at me with flashing lines to pick up- Oh, There we go. And in the end he just says, Oh, fuck this. And just fights you anyway, if you just ignore him. You can do that in, uh... Me Ranger Met Knight as well, but I really do not recommend it. As in that game, you do have a timer. And what happens when the timer runs out? You die. Oh. Yeah, I'm not used to fighting without a sword. So this is going to be fun. Oh god, he's close. Oh, yeah. Killed him just during that swing attack. Then again, I was doing that in Sky with Sword to give him. He does this charge attack with his sword. You're supposed to, like, uh, shield bash him when he swings to knock him off balance. But you can hit him during the attack. My problem is, I kept missing the timing twice, and I died during it. <laughs> but luckily, I did have a fairy. Holy balls, Sky with Sword is a pretty hard game, actually. Fun, but hard. Problem, out of all the Zeldas, out of all the modern Zeldas, it's probably the toughest. Speaking of Zelda, there was, I think, Team Worlds that was released. Ah, uh, I've been meaning to get it, but... I've got way too much games on the plate right now, and even then, I'm playing through Skyward Sword and Oracle Seasons right now, and I don't like playing through two games of the same franchise at the same time. I really don't. So, maybe when I'm, I might get it when I'm at the end, near the end of a Tree Nazi 4, I might get it. Which, by the way, it true not C4 is an awesome game. Seriously, get it. Damn it, not far enough. Not close enough. Wow, really? You seriously did not get me for doing that? Damn. I can't hit you with that. I know that if I smash you with that, I'll cause a lot of damage. Probably because your head's not got the right tilt. Your head was a little lower. I'd probably be able to. Nope. I can't. I don't. I'm not sure if you can do that to. Don't evade. No, and I did it again. Can I? Oh, shit! Shit! <laughs> Crap! I've done it once. I've done it before. I just can't seem to do it. Again. No, nope. if I should, if I waited on that, I probably would have. I did not know that you will lose grip of it. Of oh yeah, got you. We I mean, wanted to do that. Oh, and she says he as she lands on me. Oh, you can. Cool. I seriously did not know that. Like, you can attack 
Fatty Well and Fatty Well and Dynamite when they're coming towards you from the background. But anyway, we have our final fight. It's Marks. Yeah. He's always the last your last fight. Always. No matter what. And the remake gave him a new form called Mark Soul, in which he looks completely fucking crazy and all of his attacks are really strong. So yeah, he's more challenging than he really was. And that's why I complain about Marks. I do love the atmosphere of this fight and the music, but it's just that he's just so easy. He really is so easy. I mean, hell, even Nightmare and Dream Man's final boss. The Nightmare put up a fight. At least. But then again, that's problem, problem with that. Like, while that fight wasn't bad, my problem with it... Oh. Is that you're given the ability that you've never really used before. You've never had a chance to use. And also on top of that, is that every time you jump with it, you do a spinning attack. Like if you dash, for, dash and jump with a sword. So yeah, that boss is challenging for really odd reasons. And that move is so easy to dodge. Like seriously, it really is so easy to dodge. Was there another boss that was really... Dark Mind were in Amazing Mirror was just needlessly long in my opinion. <laughs> that was a little too close. I was trying to see, can I kill you with God? I think. That'd be so cool if I could. The ultimate insult. No. I'm just goofing off now. Yeah, but Dark Mind was needlessly long, because it had like, I don't know, eight forms, I think? Oh no! 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 Okay, enough goofing. I want to see if I can't kill him with a guard. That'd be so awesome and funny. You're going to shoot me, why are you? No, you're just going to drop a ice ball, I think. Okay, I'll take it. Cause we were in sixteen minutes, oh, and one second, twenty-two tenths of seconds, or was it ten seconds? I don't know. But that like adds hundred percent, and it gets you the sound test. Ooh, sound test just let, lets you play some music. You press Y to play a song. You press B or B to stop it. And A to fade it out. X to leave. I think in the I think in Ultra that's actually unlocked by default, I think. Whew. But anyway, we're done with the arena. Let's first I'm gonna restart start. I'm professionalism ho. And we're going to see, take a look at this. Let's take a look at mine. Oh yeah. 100% baby. If you really enjoyed this LP, I'd like to thank you if you watched this LP from the start to the end. Because seriously, this is one of my favourite games of all time. If not my favourite of all time. And I really enjoyed playing it. I... There's more creepy games I like to do, and I may do the remake. I really don't know yet. Just that I can do most of that game, but that arena is just pain in the ass. But maybe one day if I'm presenting, I will. But so anyway, that this has been Matt Rule 64 for Let's Play Kirby Superstar. See you next time for another LP.